The origin of the universe fascinates all of us. The concept of the Big Bang is the most widely accepted. It suggests the universe started about 14 billion years ago in a rapid expansion from a single point of nearly infinite energy density. What's even more mind-blowing is that the universe isn't expanding into anything. It's just expanding. The thing is, the galaxies are not moving further from each other. Instead, the space between them is increasing at an ever-accelerated rate. But what if our universe started not with a big bang, but with a big bounce, an implosion that triggered an explosion, all driven by exotic quantum gravitational effects? The big bounce theory is not very different from the big bang theory. The big bounce suggests there were periods of expansion and contraction, and the current expansion of the universe is just one phase of this. This so-called Big Bounce idea has been around since 1922, but has been held back by an inability to explain how the universe transitions from a contracting to an expanding state, and vice versa, without leading to an infinite point known as the singularity. But in recent years, some scientists, including Dr. Stephen Galen of Imperial College London, suggest the Big Bounce might be possible. They suggest that in the early universe, as everything was incredibly small, the reality may have been governed solely by the principles of quantum mechanics, rather than the large-scale physics we see today. This means the effects of quantum mechanics could prevent the universe from collapsing and destroying itself at the end of a period of contraction known as the Big Crunch. Instead, the universe would transition from a contracting state to an expanding one without collapsing completely. This tells us that the Big Bang might instead have been a big bounce and that the universe expands and contracts cyclically just like a lung, bouncing each time it shrinks to a certain size. Under these conditions, the contracting universe would never actually become a singularity. Essentially, it would tunnel through the worrisome point by hopping from a state right before it to a state right after it. We know for sure that the universe is expanding. The expansion is caused by the gravitational force between galaxies and the outward motion from the Big Bang. But the Big Bang theory does not explain whether the universe will expand infinitely or reach a point of maximum expansion and collapse in upon itself. The Big Bounce theory, on the other hand, specifies that the universe will expand and then contract. Our minds may have trouble wrapping around this fact, but it is a provided phenomenon in quantum mechanics. General relativity, quantum physics, and a dash of statistical physics and thermodynamics together form the basis for the concept of expanding cosmology known as the Big Bang. The theory of the Big Bang suggests the universe started as a single point, then it expanded and stretched as large as it is today. The idea states that the universe originated from a singularity, a point in time where there was zero volume containing infinite density and energy. The Big Bounce theory, however, proposed there was a minimum volume that was not zero and maximum energy that was not infinite. The Big Bounce sees the universe like a lung. It suggests that rather than everything starting from an infinite point, the universe has cycles of expansions and contractions. Right now we are in a state of expansion, but the Big Bounce theory assumes that the expansion will eventually reach a stopping point and then a rapid contraction will occur, known as the Big Crunch. The universe will collapse pulling in all matter and forming black holes that will unify into a one enormous black hole. This humongous black hole will collapse until the entire universe is a single point where the quantum effects of gravity are repulsive and all of the conditions necessary for another explosive event such as the Big Bang are met. And this cycle will repeat forever. 